Hello, this is Module 5, Video 26. In this video, we're going to build a break action parser. So I will create the required classes here. Okay, so here's the tests I've written. We, in this case, we need to take uh, both a delay service and a speech service because our break action, as you may recall, requires both. Um, so I'm testing both of those for null and making sure that we throw if it is. And then we've got several test cases as per usual for valid and several test cases for invalid input. And there's the kind of syntax we're after. And we've got the usual different permutations of valid input versus invalid input. So I won't bore you with the details there. Let's just see if these tests fail. They do. So implementation then will look something like this. There's the implementation, so we're just parsing break and then some white space and then the duration using our time span parser and then turning that into a break action. Oh, and actually, obviously, I've forgotten the four. And of course, consequently, we need white space in between that as well. And incidentally, I really wish uh, C sharp would allow you to just use this variable name over and over and it would just kind of not bind it to anything. Uh, but unfortunately you have to keep appending another underscore on just to make sure there's no name clash. So that should do it. Let's try the test. Cool, all passing. So that's it for our break action parser. Catch you in the next video. Bye.